last week I got this request but I promised I will do this before Christmas but um, I got the tree color and I thought why should I wait a long time and I'm going to do the uh, request for Sri Lankan coconut cake without any fruits but I'm going to use cashews this is optional if you don't want to add any so let's do the coconut cake so these are the ingredients for the coconut cake 250 grams rice flour roasted I already roasted uh, and this is how it looks like and 100 grams roasted uh, semolina 750 milliliters coconut treacle or even you can use the kithul palm treacle and 250 grams desiccated coconut if you are using fresh coconut you need to use about 500 grams and um, vanilla few drops and few drops of rose um, water or rose essence and six egg yolks and six egg whites one cup 250 milliliters very thick coconut milk and one and a half teaspoons baking powder 250 grams cashew nuts and if you um, like to add these spices you can add if not you can add all spice instead i'm using cinnamon cardamoms and cloves and um, fennel seeds so take about half a teaspoon from each and grind this in a grinder and use about a teaspoon of the powder so let's start first of all into a pot add the desiccated coconut or the fresh coconut and into that add the coconut milk if you are using fresh coconut you can use uh, water instead add the treacle into that add a pinch of salt now I know I will get a question asking if can't find the treacle what can I use you can use brown sugar you have to make the syrup out from brown sugar 750 milliliters and can use but I have to say the taste is different so put this on the stove cook it until it absorb the treacle and leave it to cool down now into a clean mixing bowl add the egg whites and start whisking it until it comes to a soft peak once it is ready take it out when it is ready it has to hold the egg whites uh, on the beater so this is how it looks like so I'm going to take this out now in a separate mixing bowl mix the egg yolks using your paddle attachment and into that add few drops of vanilla and few drops of rose essence make sure to test the rose essence the how strong it is before you add it then the grounded um, spices mix it well about one minute now it's ready so into that going to add the semolina the roasted semolina and the roasted um, rice flour I'm using the red rice flour but you can use the white one but this will give a bit more darker color to this and add the cashew nuts and mix it well so now into that add one and a half teaspoons baking powder and I want to show you this that the honey and the sorry uh, treacle and the coconut mix this is how it looks like don't make it very hard because I just boiled it and switch off the stove it has to be a bit runny because the there is no uh, other liquid in the rice flour mix now into the mixed rice flour mix add the cooked coconut and mix it well
now it's the time to taste your mix and see whether um, the sugar is enough if not if you like more sweet cakes you can add more sugar now I'm going to mix the egg whites into the cake mix slowly I'm going to fold it over at this point you need to preheat your oven to 160 Celsius and then I'm using this 12 by 4 inch cake pan don't make it very high one reason is it will take longer to cook and the other reason is that this is a very rich cake so you need to um, cut into smaller pieces and pour the mix into the baking tray I'm going to bake this on 160 about one hour to one and a half hours I left some cashews um, separate and I'm going to put it on top. Hope it is it will stay like this. So the coconut cake is ready to cut now. I left it um, like two hours outside and if I cut to show you how it looks like. You know the thing is when you um, bake a cake if you keep it for at least two or three days outside before consuming it tastes better and nicer and look it's really soft and moist and um, this goes really well with a nice cup of coffee or on the new year table and try this and leave me a comment hope you will enjoy this thank you for watching